discovery of this comet uh, C2011N3 was somewhat of a chance and certainly a surprise. We, we saw a fairly bright object come in in one of the chronograph images that the SOHO satellite was taking. And, on, uh, and every morning when we come in, we look at the images that the Solar Dynamics Observatory has sent down. And I decided that morning to pay some espe special care to the corner in which we thought that the comet would be coming in, just in case we might see something. And to my surprise, we did see it, first against the dark sky, which is easiest, but then we followed it and it started to move across the bright solar disk itself, and we could still track it, and we could in fact track it all the way to its end, uh, which was um, a, a tiny fraction of the solar radius above the surface, so it really was flying through the very hot solar atmosphere. Uh, and that was a first, until now this has never been observed, and that's a combination of two things, I think. It's uh, in part because the instrument with which we were looking, the Atmospheric Imaging Assembly, is, is an astonishingly good telescope. It, has a, it sees the whole sun uh, all the time, so no matter where something happens, we are looking at it. But it also takes images fairly rapidly, so it's easy to see from one image to the next what is happening. We take an image every second in any one filter that we're using, whereas the older uh, generation on the SOHO satellite would take an image every thousand seconds. So it's hard to follow anything at a thousand second cadence, but ten seconds it becomes a lot easier. The second reason is that this was an unusually bright and heavy comet, so it had a lot of mass to lose, a lot of mass to glow in the solar atmosphere. And those two coming together was a, was a wonderful thing to see happen. Uh, now that we have warning that we can see them, we can look for others. So we did uh, at least go back in time. We looked at all the other comets that were basically in the same orbit uh, during the time that the Solar Dynamics Observatory was up, so for about a year and a half before uh, N3 comet was observed, none of them showed up. All of them were too light, uh, didn't, didn't make it. 